Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the WordPress plugin, which is Orion Login with SMS. And we're going to discuss about how to use it with Twilio SMS API. Okay. Well, what does this plugin do and what is it actually? Okay. Well, Orion Login with SMS is a free WordPress plugin that you can download from WordPress. And what it does is it basically allows your users to log in without the username, password, or email. So it's passwordless or emailless login. Okay. Well, what does that mean? Well, this means that they will be able to log in using their registered mobile number. So what this plugin is going to do is going to allow you to have a button on which you can click and it opens up a pop-up. It gives you your users to end an option to enter their mobile number and then they get the verification code they can verify the mobile number but if it's correct then they'll be about allowed to log in well it's pretty simple and it's very easy to integrate it so let's begin then okay well the first thing we need is basically the api key so if you're already registered on twilio brilliant just log in go to the dashboard if you aren't then please register and then go to the dashboard then click on this click on authy then you'll have an option to create application if you already have an api key brilliant basically we're trying to get an api key and i can just probably write orion over here try to create it and there you go we got the api key and that's all we need we don't need anything else okay so we'll go to plugin and we just select value really over here and we just paste the api key right here and that's all we need. We don't need the sender ID because Twilio uh, uses its own sender ID. Okay. Now, what is this field? So basically, we want to know where exactly uh, the mobile number is saved into the database. So we need to know the meta key. So what exactly is the meta key? Okay. Well, when if you're using any plugins for registration like Ultimate Member, or Profile Builder, or Elementor for that matter, then they save the user's mobile number with some form of meta key okay so we need to know what is the name of the meta key because if the user enters the mobile number that's that will help us verify if the mobile number is correct and if it's registered or not okay so let's try that so if you go to php my admin if you go to your database and you click on wp user meta okay and you just browse and just go to any user who's already registered in my case this user you can see that the meta key and the meta value is available here and my mobile number is saved under mobile underscore number meta key that's the name of the meta key okay so all you have to do is just put that here then this asks you whether it's saved with the country code or not so in my case it isn't so i'll keep that to no if there was a country code over here like 91 prefixed then i will select yes and if there was a plus sign before this then I'm going to select yes with plus sign but in our case it isn't so we'll just keep it to no because we don't have the country code saved over here nor is the plus sign being mentioned awesome next thing we need which country so whichever country you belong to where you want to use it then you select that country and it's automatically going to uh, add the country code for you onto the front end where the user enters the mobile number so in, our, in my case it's India I'll select this and you select what is the length of the mobile number uh, this is basically for validation because we want to check if the user uh, enters the correct length of the mobile number before actually sending the message to him because we don't want to unnecessarily keep sending messages because it's going to eat up your messages from your api we only want to send it if everything is correct so we want to handle all of the errors so we will handle the validation as well so i'll select 10 what is this apply adaptive style well this is pretty interesting what do you think this could possibly be well um adaptive style means that this particular plugin when it generates the form for you it goes ahead and adapts the style and the feel of your theme okay which means the look and the feel of the form will be quite similar to your existing theme okay well this is very useful why because if I'm not a developer, I don't have to hire a developer just to be able to change the style or make an update in the style to match my theme, right? And even if I am a developer, I don't have to spend time in writing additional styles. So that saves my time. Awesome. You're going to see that in action just in a moment.
Well, the next thing is that we want a button onto the login form page, uh, which when clicked, it opens up a pop-up and user will be entering their mobile number for verification there. So that button could either come from our plugin or if you already have a button, uh, we can use that as well. So if you already have a button on the login form that you want us uh, the pop to be triggered when clicked, then you go ahead and give us the selector for that. So it could be a class name or a unique ID for that particular button. But if you don't have a button and you want our plugin to create it automatically for you, then you give us the form selector. So you will go ahead and do an inspect element and check what the class name of the form is and just enter that there. So let me give you an example. So let me give you an example. Uh, I'm gonna go to my local WordPress install. It's inside of the WordPress login directory and my login page is as slash login, okay? So there you go. You can see I already have a button here, so I don't need the plugin to create one for me. I can do an inspect element, which means even if you're not a developer, don't worry, just do an inspect element. You will find a class here or an ID, just copy that and just paste it here. And make sure you prefix it with dot in case if it's a class name, if it's an ID, prefix it with hash. In our case, it's a class, we'll keep it to dot. And that's all you have to do. Just click on save and let the plugin do all the magic for you. Let's try that. Okay, well, ready for the magic? Okay, great. Let's click on this. Voila, great. So you see a pop-up here and you can see that I have an option to put my mobile number and send the verification code to that mobile number. The best part is that, did you notice that we spoke about an adaptive style? Did you notice that the font family and the font size is the same as your theme? I'm using WordPress default 2019 theme and it's adapted to that. Similarly, the input is adapted and so is the button. All right, isn't that brilliant? Saves your time, isn't it? And looks cool, why? Because it doesn't look like it's coming from a plugin it, it appears that it's part of your theme and, and that's what we are looking for right we don't want uh, some plugin to come and insert something which looks completely different and then i have to find someone to fix that right so we have taken care of that guys okay so the question comes that does it handle errors so what if i don't enter anything and hit will it send a verification code no it wouldn't let's click you can see it says, please enter your mobile number. Let's say I go ahead and enter an incorrect mobile number. Let's say less number of digits. So should it send the message? Well, at least shouldn't because it should handle the error. Let's try that. Send. You can see it says, please enter 10 digit mobile number. And that's the digit you selected onto the dashboard settings. Now let's try to enter the correct number of digits. But this time we'll enter a mobile number that doesn't exist. Let's try that. And there you go, it's checked, user is not available. And did you notice how fast this is? Well, there are two reasons it's fast. Number one, we're using React on the front end and React is, you know that it's created by Facebook and they made it open source and most, a lot of JavaScript developers are using it because it's super fast for front end uh, development. Awesome, so this time what we're gonna do is we will put correct mobile number because we've already checked all the validations. So let's enter that. So I'll put the correct mobile number and hit it. Sending. Awesome. It's sent. Did you hear that? Well, that was the message that it just sent. So let me show that to you. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom it so you can see it. Okay, there you go. All right, I don't know if you could see it, but it is received. Okay, let's try another validation check. Okay, so what if I don't enter anything? Well, you got an error message that please enter verification code. What if I enter incorrect one? Let's try that. Verifying verification code is invalid. Awesome, super fast, great. So we've checked the validation as well. All we have to do is just enter the correct one. So guys, uh, since you've seen the verification code, why don't you tell me what it is and I'll enter it and let's get it going. 
Yes, you're right. It's three, one, eight, five. Awesome. So what do you expect to happen? Well, if what should happen is that if the verification is correct, which in this case is, then user should be locked in. Let's see if that happens. And of course, you can resend verification code as well by click on this. Awesome, you are logged in guys, you are logged in, that's amazing. And how do you know that he is logged in? Well, let's try to go back on the same page. And there you go, we don't have the form anymore, we have a logout button, which means the user is logged in. Well, isn't that brilliant? How simple was that, right? I'm not a developer, I don't need to learn anything. I can simply just put a couple of information like API key and meta key, and I just go ahead and enter the validation um, things, and then that's, that's about it. The plugin will take care of everything. And I also have an option to choose my favorite API because it's, it's already there. And if it isn't, and if it's one of the popular ones, you can tell us. Um, if it's something that's used by most people and a lot of people are requesting it, we will consider that adding it as well. Well, this plugin offers you many features, guys. Uh, you know, it's compatible with all the themes and plugins, fast and secure, translation ready, uh, free in single international country. You get free updates because we work on feedbacks, responsive and also non-developer friendly. So you got everything that you need and you've already tested it with top plugins. Okay, so be rest assured. Awesome. So guys, if you did like the plugin, go ahead and try it out. It's available on WordPress or and if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment. You can ask us. And uh, if you did like the plugin after using it, go ahead and give us a positive review on WordPress org. If you did like the video, please do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran H. Sayyad. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. See you next. Take care. Bye-bye.